Well, of course, Saturday's game against Hampton and Richmond Borough at Playmore is going to be designated Devon Day here at Playmore. So we thought we'd have a little bit of fun beforehand. And as we've got uh, Will Jenkins Davis, who's representing Plymouth Argyle, being on loan from them, and Dean Moxie, who is, of course, a legend at St James's Park, we just thought we'd have you two as the team captains as we have a little bit of a quiz on Devon Day. Right, guys, so which river forms part of the border between Devon and Cornwall? Is it A, the River Devon? B, the Tamar River, or C, River X. So A, River Devon, B, Tamar River, or C, River X. A, B, or C, you've both gone for B, and you're both absolutely right. It is, of course, the Tamar River. Okay, next question we've got then. Torbay's sandy beaches and mild climate have given rise to which nicknames? You have to use your imagination, imagine we're in the summer now. Okay, is it A, Torbados? B, English Riviera, or C, the Sunny Bay. Hoping you get this right, guys. And both captains are again going with B, so that's two apiece so far. Well done, guys. Not too taxing yeah, so far. I think we could start something there with Torbados. Okay, question number three. Which town is home to the Royal Navy's Officer Training College? So, a little bit more of a taxing one here. Is it A, Plymouth? B, Barnstable or C Dartmouth. So which town or city is home to Royal Navy Officers Training College here in Devon? Is it A Plymouth, B Barnstable or C Dartmouth? A lot of discussion. Will looks confident. Maxie and Scotty not quite so much. Let's see what we've got. So Will has gone for Plymouth. And Dean has gone for Dartmouth, and it is Dartmouth. Oh, so, Dean's team <laughs> takes the lead. Okay, question number four of five. Which <laughs> Devon town was the first to introduce its own alternative currency in March 2007? So which Devon town was the first to introduce its own alternative currency in March 2007? Was it A, Top Ness? Was it B, Exmouth? Was it C, Sidmouth? Totnes, Exmouth or Sidmouth, what are we going for? You're all going for Totnes and you're all absolutely right. So, it's going down to the final question then. And you'd be glad to know, this final question is at least about football. So, which club is the oldest? Is it A, Torquay United? Is it B, Exeter City? Or is it C, Plymouth Argyle? Which club is the oldest? Oh, yeah, yeah. Torquay, Exeter, or Plymouth? I hope you know where, uh, when Torquay was uh, formed. But uh, what about? Uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, a is Torquay. B is Exeter. C is Plymouth. A, you're going for Torquay, and you're also going for Torquay. It's actually Plymouth Argyle. Oh, 1886. No. Exeter City is actually the youngest in 1901, Talking, of course, is 1899. Um, guys, first of all, um, it's going to be Devon Day, obviously all three teams uniting together for one common cause. Um, Dean, if I can come to you first of all, um, what does it mean to actually for, to have the added support of both clubs on a day like this? Yeah, it's brilliant. We've seen um, last game we saw some good shirts in the crowd as well, so you see the community come together when and Jack, having all four ends of the ground open, that it must be a great atmosphere to play in. Yeah, definitely. We need uh, all as well. We can get to the last eight games, so hopefully they can all together. And Will, obviously, you are on loan from Plymouth, obviously, so you've got a foot in both camps. Uh, it's going to be uh, strange seeing some Plymouth and Torquay shirts in the crowd, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's good to see um, Plymouth shirts watching us and... Yeah, just looking forward to getting out there and, and putting on a show for them to come down to. And Tom, obviously, it's, it's great to have the Plymouth and the Exeter fans here, but of course we mustn't forget our own Yellow Army who have been fantastic in the in the previous home games. Yeah, been brilliant. I think all season, the, you know, the situation we're in, um, sort of come together now. Um, yeah, the response we've had since, you know, when this happened has been not, su not surprising, but been brilliant. I um, you know, expected it, to be fair, um, but yeah, it's been brilliant to talk about all season. So, um, Three more home games and five more away games and hopefully as many people as possible to help step them up.
thank you, all four of you, for taking part, and thank you also to Dean and Jack, today's winners. Thank you.